Imagine, just imagine as a saxophonist, you are told that a song will be played on a particular key. And after scoring the song, you've done your homework, immediately after playing, the lead just had to go to another key. Or while PlayStation is going on, the lead vocalist just had to change key or modulate. As a saxophonist, how will you easily find your key? How do you make sure that your saxophone is in tune? And how do you play by ear? These are some of the things we'll be discussing today. Stay tuned. Alright, thank you. My name is Dam Lola Damisax and it's a privilege for me to be your saxophone tutor. Today we'll be discussing how to play by ear and how to easily find uh, your key on the saxophone. Okay? I want to also thank all my subscribers for watching the video and uh, for staying subscribed. Thank you so much and I'm really grateful. So because you know how to play saxophone doesn't mean you just be playing on a particular key or because you know how to play doesn't mean you just join a band or see where they are singing and you start playing. Your key might not go with their music that time, might not go with the concert key that time. So the first technique and the first strategy you need to know is to understand your instrument understand your saxophone for auto sax auto saxophone is called an e flat instrument it is called an e flat instrument they call it e flat saxophone why is it called e flat because when you are playing key c here which is your first key here anyway the keyboard is will be playing e flat so that means this key is uh, this saxophone is designed 30 semitone down the keyboard so when the keyboardist is playing key C, it doesn't really mean that you as a saxophonist will be playing key C. This is an E flat instrument. So if you are playing key C here, your keyboardist will be playing E flat. Don't mix this up. It's not that when you are playing C here, this uh, keyboard will be a uh, saxophone will be playing E flat. No. You are coming down 30 semitone down for keyboard for the saxophone. So for example, if the keyboard is playing key C, key C, you will come down 30 semitone to, from C to B, from B to A sharp, from A sharp to A. That means you as a saxophonist or as an auto saxophonist, you'll be playing key A. So you need to understand how your saxophone works. For tenor, tenor is a B flat instrument. For tenor, you have to climb up two times. Two semitone. So if, for example, as a tenor, you are playing your C here, if this is a tenor, this is not a tenor sax, this is an auto sax. If, for example, you are playing uh, your C on the tenor sax, the pianist will be playing B flat, the same thing for soprano and for uh, flute. Flute, flute tone is constant, is C, it's always on C. So you need to understand how your saxophone works so that doesn't mean that when the keyboard is playing key c that's all you want to play easily find your key just ask the keyboard is or the pianist oh please what key are you playing and the man said oh i'm playing on key c and you start playing key c it does not work for example let me give you a try here if you are playing a here now uh a if you're playing a on the saxophone the keyboard is will climb up to the semitone up Three semitone up. That means the, uh, the keyboard is to be playing three semitone after key A. If you are counting, this is A, A sharp one, B two, and C. So if you are playing A here, your keyboard will be playing key C. Let me strike C and C now. Do. So that is how your saxophone works. You need to first of all understand how your saxophone works. It is for tenor. Tenor, I don't have a tenor sax that I would have showed you. But a tenor will be playing one, uh, uh, two semitone up whatever the keyboard is playing. So if, if, a ten, if you are playing F, for example, you are playing F on the keyboard, the tenor sax will go to two semitone. It will start from F to F sharp. To G. Tenor sax will be playing G. While you as auto saxophone, you come down three semitone down. From F, you go to you go to your E, 
from E, you go, that is 1, E, D sharp to D. Okay, so if the keyboard is playing F on the keyboard, the auto sharp will be playing key D. F, you will play key D. So that's the first way your saxophone works. You need to understand the way it works first. Because that is the first technique you need to know. If you're asking your keyboard, please, what key are you playing? Your keyboard should be able to tell you, okay, I'm playing on key A. Then you, you will come down three semitone down. Or, and if you are playing on the key here, you tell your keyboard to go three semitone higher. But you know, keyboard is the one that dictates the, the sound anyway. So once the keyboard is tell you, I'm on this key, you easily locate your key. So that is the first thing you need to understand. Understand your saxophone. If you are using auto saxophone, the key you will play will be different from the auto saxophone. If you are using tenor saxophone, the key we play will be different from tenor saxophone, but producing the same note, the, the same sound. You will not go off key, but you are playing the same. So that's the first thing you need to understand in playing the saxophone by ear and getting your key right. I can decide to ask you more example. For example, if I'm playing key key D on the keyboard, what will the uh, saxophone play? My auto sax auto saxophone will come down to the semitone down. C sharp, C B. So this auto saxophone will be playing key B. It will just come down to the semitone down, to the step. And if I play uh uh, so just ask the keyboard if you are playing on keyboard on the saxophone you tell your keyboard this to go to the semitone high but instead of confusing it just look at the key that your saxophone is uh, your keyboard is, is playing then come down three semitone so that is number one technique the second technique in which you can use to easily play by ear and easily find your key is you need to know all the keys of what advantage is it that you are trying to look for a key that you cannot even play the key? You know, we have your chromatic key. I told you the other previous video. If you have not watched this, please, you can go and check uh, how to play all the keys. You need to know how to play all the keys. Why are you looking for a key? Why are you finding a key that you cannot even play <laughs> the key? For example, somebody is playing on key D and suddenly changed key or modulated or went off key to key F. And you are looking for the key and you cannot play key F. Of what point is this? So you need to first of all know how to play all the keys. You need to learn how to play all the keys. So after learning how to play the keys, you can easily find the key and play on the key. So we have 12 keys on the saxophone. We have the C, the C sharp, the D, the D sharp, the E, the F, the G, the G sharp, the A, the A sharp, and the B. And same thing when you are coming down, C, B, B flat, a, A flat, uh, G, uh, G, G flat, uh, uh, F, E, uh, E flat, D, D flat, then C. So if you are coming down, it's flat. If you are going up, it's sharp. So you need to understand how to play all the keys first before you can say you are even looking for the key. In which you want to play so when you understand how to play all the keys then you can easily find the key you want to play okay the next thing you need to know is to check if your saxophone is in tune if your saxophone is tuned because sometimes you realize that you're in a band we have many auto saxophonists with you playing and everybody are playing on a particular key maybe on key D and everybody is are playing the do but your do is not sounding like the do on the other saxophone you are looking at it like it's like my saxophone has problem or it's like something is not working maybe your saxophone is this tune so how do you tune your saxophone back to make sure that at least you're on the same page with other saxophonists you tune your saxophone from the neck that is where you tune your saxophone from so if you notice that you are sounding uh, too deep maybe everybody is uh, on on D but you you are on a C sharp that is you are behind you are behind all you need to do is 
from this mouthpiece you push it inside you see this cock you push your mouthpiece inside a bit that is maybe you are sounding too flat you push it inside but if you are too inside that is maybe you are sounding too sharp and you are too inside and you know that maybe you are instead of d you are going to f you pull it outside small so just make sure that your mouthpiece is pushed at least with considerably make sure that your saxophone mouthpiece is at least to a good depth of your cock if it's too out you'll be sounding flat if it's too deep you'll be sounding sharp so make sure that the saxophone is in a good depth of the cock so that it will be tuned if not you might notice that everybody are playing this is common to beginners you just notice that my saxophone you people are playing on d i'm playing on d now but what is happening i'm not sounding like others it's like uh, my self-class problem check the uh the, your, the neck of your saxophone then another way in which some people they play outside the tone is their embroker you can that is where we talk about overtone you can be playing on a particular key and it will be sounding like two key so as a beginner you need to learn how to work with your embouchure so that it will not be too tight or too loose because it can produce another sound so you make sure that your saxophone is well tuned and anytime you are going on stage or you are going to minister it will help you to easily find your key because while others are playing on a particular key and you are playing on a different key you can easily cause confusion among them so that is another method in which you can use Okay, so the next step in which you can use for your ear training, this one is one of the methods that will help you to get your ear training and to play by ear, is to do, uh, to tune yourself. <laughs> you tune yourself. How do you tune yourself? You do a kind of sound recognition practice. Sound recognition practice. You can get this done with the help of keyboard or other instrument like saxophone. For example, uh, this is a keyboard. All right. So we have a. So we have a. This is a keyboard. So we are going to sound each each note like do. You call each note do. So do each note each key I'm pressing. We call it do for now just to this is for us to do this training ear training do. now this is this is supposed to be this should be supposed to be far but let's see call it do all right so can join me in sounding it wherever you are. Do. 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 What about this? Please, as you're watching, try as much as possible to say it. It really help you. Do, do, do. What about this? Do, 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 do. No, this is not do, do, do. It's not do, 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 do. This is do, do. Make sure you get it right. It's not just do. This is not. This is not do. Do, do, do. So I will press all the key while you are watching. Call it with do.
so this is another thing is called sound recognition practice you practice the sound you call it if i for example if i just say what is this these are some of the things you can work with yourself so after getting it the next thing is to hum it you hum the sound So you need to know how it works. If anybody just pick any key, uh, in your uh, in your personal reaser, can look for a keyboard, try and work with it. Just pick a key and make sure it sound exactly like the notes or the sound coming up. So after getting it, you hum it. So let's hum it. Do. Then the mean. Now, after getting this done, you can home, you can, this, this, this come with constant rehearsal and the practice, not something just, mm, 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 mm. and you think you've got it, you have to take your time, you have to, it come with time, when you get familiar, this sound recognition, when you get so used to it, it easily help you, and you should be able to say your sofas, it's not do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, you you pronounce it the way it sounds. Do re mi, do re mi. No, do re mi fa sol la ti. Do re mi fa sol la ti do. Try as much as possible to follow it. Do te la so fa mi re do te la so fa mi re do te la so. So it really help you. Just run it. So if you cannot go all the octave, just pick one. Sound recognition will seriously help you. Then, once you are done with that, you cannot pick up your saxophone. You are familiar with your sound. You can hum it. Mm -hmm. So, I'll just pick a key here. And I will find it on the saxophone. How did you find it on the saxophone? You can... Once you are familiar with it, for example, that's why you need to know how to sound it. There are some songs that... Once they start, you cannot just go and make the keyboard is ah, what key are you, what key are you, because maybe everywhere is noisy. So you need to find it by yourself too. So while trying to find it, when the, you just like listen to one of the notes, maybe you saw you were able to be. For example, that's why you need to know how to sing your song too in surfers. Learn how to play and sing your song in surfers. Some simple song. Amazing grace, oh do me, do me. Or for example, you are even singing the national anthem Nigerian so do so do me so you need to know how to sing some of these things. Just try as much as well to learn it. So that when you are picking a song, for example, they are doing so do so do me so 
The saw if you pick it as your do. So mm, if you pick it like like. If you pick this one, the so it is so you pick as your do 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 re. If you pick as your do, you miss it. So you need to know the so the the so fast note. Then once you get the so fast note, you can easily know how to find your landing note, your root note, your resting note. So once you pick the resting note, then from there, you you just run your chromatic key to pick the note. Sometimes while you are running the chromatic key, it is from you might not even get the do before you pick it. Maybe you are just like this is do. I can start it from G. Let me start from G. My chromatic key from G. <laughs> So this, for example, I'm looking for, I'm looking for this key. You can see now. This one is close. It's close, but it's not really giving me this. This is. It's not giving me the So because I've been able to home it, I've been able to have this sound recognition. I can easily run my scale. We just pick it. For example, let's pick other key too. Maybe somebody just said to say, okay, instead of picking uh, this, maybe just uh, you just start from your G. Okay, this one is okay, this one is even G directly. And I was like, what is this? What is this one sounding like? So sometimes when you are close, it might start sounding like you are getting it, but you need to pay attention to the right note. So this is where you need to get familiar with your sound recognition. You need to be able to recognize the sound. So the first thing is get to know how to. So once you know this sound recognition it will seriously help you on how to easily locate your key and help you on how to get your notes and also uh you need uh it will also help you on how to be able to play with ear because as people are singing mm, you can easily pick the key from your ear and you follow suit so you try to get the the resting note or just pick a note for example, why they even play? You might not even get in the do. You just pick maybe from the so, just a so, so, mi, re, do. You just pick it from the so or from the me because you are familiar. Because of familiarity, you are familiar with the notes or you are familiar with the song. So these are one of the ways or these are some method in which you can use to play with ear and also you can use to uh easily find your key maybe while on stage or while playing as a saxophone is a common thing you go to some place some people will just have to change key some people they don't even know how to follow key and who knows one day you might be invited to come and minister with them you don't need to embarrass anybody you just follow them and sometimes some song they will just modulate another key you modulate another key you modulate you demodulate you move you just you don't need to start saying uh, i don't know what to do 
as a professional, you need to know how to be versatile. So thank you. So these are some of the ways that it can help you to get uh, to know how to play with your ear, to know how to easily find your key and to make sure that your saxophone is in tune. All right, let me quickly do a recap of what we've discussed so far on how to uh, play saxophone with ear and uh, how to easily find your key, maybe while on stage, and how to make sure your saxophone is in tune. Number one, you need to understand the saxophone. Know the type of saxophone you are using. Maybe it's an auto saxophone. An auto saxophone is an E flat instrument. A tenor saxophone is a B flat instrument. And also soprano saxophone is a B flat instrument. If you are using flute, it's a C uh, instrument. This time is always on concert C. Uh, you need to understand how it works. So that it won't look like you're playing different you're playing a saxophone and you get confused. Then the next thing you need to know is that is from what I've discussed so far, which we've talked about, is you need to know how to play all your keys. There's no point of playing or looking for uh, a key that you cannot play. If you are looking for a key that you're not playing, it's just completely a waste of time. We have 12 keys on the saxophone. So you must be able to learn how to play all these 12 keys. So that when they move to any key that you that you know how to play or that they are playing, you will easily follow them and you will play along with them. Then the next one you need to know is what we've discussed was you need to know how to tone your saxophone and you can tone it from your neck. You can tone your saxophone from your neck. If it is too deep, it will be sharp. If it is too out, it will be flat. So make sure that the the mouthpiece enter the depth of the cork at least to a good depth. So that is another way in which to make sure that the saxophone is tuned. Then you work on your embro chop. You know, as a beginner or as most saxophonists, they still have big problem with that. So make sure you work on it uh, so that you get a good a good sound and you will not be sounding off. Then the next one is you need to do sound recognition. Sound recognition. You tune yourself. How do you tune yourself? Make sure you are familiar with your sound. Play the uh, surface of songs. Keep practicing. In fact, most saxophonists cannot play surface, but they, they develop themselves to just play with ear. So it will help you. You can play surface of song. You pick a song. You sing the surface. Mm. Just pick the song. If you're singing any song, try and look for the, the surface. Play. It will seriously help you, and it will improve you. Greatly. Then you practice, then take note that all this thing does not just come like that. It comes from consistent practice. It's a thing that comes gradually. So if you are not getting it now, doesn't mean you cannot get it. It takes time. For some of us, we wish we have a teacher that will sit us down and explain things to us like this. So, but when we started, we, could, we don't have access to some of this uh, method. But thank God you have the, the opportunity of listening to people, of watching tutors, teachers teaching you on how to do it. So it takes time. You just keep practicing, look for time, practice it, and before you know it, you start doing so well. So thank you for taking time to watch this video. Thank you for subscribing, and thank you for always checking my Please, if you've not subscribed, try and subscribe. And uh, if you have any question, uh, you can drop it in the comment box. I will answer immediately I say the question. And if you want me to be your one-on-one -on -one, uh, coach, a one on one tutor which can seriously help you too. You can contact me, you can uh, you can message me. I have many people I'm taking one on one and they are doing well. So if you want a one on one coach, please contact me. I'm always available for you. Thank you. See you in the next video. Don't forget to keep practicing and never stop practicing. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.